Unit 21. Blood Types Thanks for meeting me today, Professor. I don't understand last week's lecture on blood types. Could you please explain it to me? No problem, Angela. First, let's see what you do understand. Can you tell me about blood types? There are four types of blood. A, B, A, B, and O. Good. How is your blood type determined? You get your blood type from both your parents. Your blood type is a combination of genes from your father and your mother. That's right. Before the lecture, I always thought that all blood was the same. Why can't two different blood types mix? In some ways, every person's blood is the same, but it is very dangerous to mix two different blood types. Your blood cells may begin to stick together. If you are given the wrong type of blood in a hospital, you could die. I see. So that's why blood types must be matched in the hospital, and this must be done before blood is given to anyone. Exactly. Unit 22. The Car Ride Mom, Danielle's on my side of the car again. Tell her to move over. Listen, both of you. I've had enough of your nonsense. Sit still, be quiet, and enjoy the scenery. Mom, is Toronto still far away? It's going to take a long time to get there, so read your book. I don't like to read in the car because it gives me a headache. Can we put a CD in? I suppose so, but it had better not be rap music. That music is awful, and I can't believe you children actually listen to it. Oh, please, can we play some rap music? You might like it, Mom. Well, only if you promise that there is no bad language in it. There isn't any bad language. I promise. All right, I'll play the CD, but it will be at the volume I choose. Thanks, Mom. Have I ever told you about the songs I liked at your age? People listened to real music in those days. Oh, Mom, rap is real music, too. Unit 23, The Report I finished my report on the French Revolution last night. How did you finish it so fast? I'm still trying to find books about it. There was something about the French Revolution on TV last week. I wrote down the names of all the people who were on the show. What did you do next? I went to the library and looked for their books. It was very easy, especially because I already understood what they wanted to say. I guess I could have done that, but I missed the TV show. Why did Miss Deshart make us write about French history anyway? She's a French language teacher, not a history teacher. Miss Deshart said that if we want to understand the language, we should understand the culture. I don't know if I speak better French, but I know more about French history now. If the French Revolution had never happened, French would be a very different language. You're right. I'm going to talk to Miss Desard now. I'll see you later. Unit 24. Home Schools There are many kinds of schools for many kinds of students. One kind of school is the home school. Home schools are exactly that, schools at home. Parents choose to homeschool their children for many reasons. Some people feel that public schools are too dangerous. Some people think that the level of education is too low. Some parents do not approve of the subjects their children learn in public schools. If parents choose to homeschool their children, they must be ready to teach them well. There are many benefits to homeschooling. Home schools are very small. There are just one or two students. The student's mother or father is the teacher. Another benefit is that students can study interesting things. Some people think that homeschooling is not good for students. They believe public schools teach children discipline. They feel that public schools give a sense of community. In the end, parents must decide if homeschooling is the right choice for their children. Unit 25. Big Brother So, how does it feel to have a new baby brother in the house? It's really exciting, but not as easy as I thought it would be because the baby cries constantly. 
I love my baby brother, but I don't like all that noise. I know. When my baby sister was born, she cried and slept all the time. I had to help change diapers and feed her. I hope I never have to change a diaper. My mom and dad do a good job of that. I learned how to heat the bottle to the right temperature, though. Having a new baby around is hard work. What do you like most about your new brother? He's really cute, and everyone says he looks like me, but with darker hair. Smaller, too, of course. He laughs when I tickle his little feet. When he grows up a bit, I'll teach him how to ride a bicycle, and we can also play games together. I'm going to be the best big brother in the world. People and Work Unit 26, The New Boss You know, Kim, I think our new boss doesn't like me. I don't understand why. That's not true, Trevor. Why, just this morning I heard her say you're a very good employee. She said you work very hard every day. That's news to me. I wish she would say it to me, but she just criticizes everything I do. I think that you're being too sensitive. Do you really think so? Maybe I just need a vacation. I haven't had one for years. It's not good to work so hard, Trevor. I think a vacation is a great idea. How about you? Are you happy at work these days? Yes, I'm really enjoying working for this new boss. That's why I'm surprised that you think she criticizes your work. Actually, I think she is helping you to improve your work. She's just trying to help. I didn't realize that. Now that I think about it, you're right. I feel much better. Good. Let's go for lunch. Unit 27. The Principal How long have you been a school principal, Mr. Shin? I have been a school principal for 18 years. What made you get involved in education? When I was 12 years old, I read an article about how the human brain works. I studied very hard. I tried to use my brain well. Soon, I began to get interested in education. I see. After college, I became a teacher. I was given the position of principal 12 years later. Do you ever wish that you had done something else? When I first started as a principal, I missed being a teacher. I liked spending time with children and helping them learn and grow. However, I knew that I could do a lot of good as a principal. You have certainly done a lot of good, Mr. Shin. You started a special program to send all the students in your school to college. I had been planning to do that for some time. I'm glad the program is so successful. Unit 28. Bill Gates Look at this article I am reading. It says here that Microsoft made over $36 billion in 2004. Wow! I wish I was Bill Gates, the owner of Microsoft. Is it just because of the money? Of course. You can donate a lot of money to help other people. Bill Gates donates millions to charity every year. He also employs about 55,000 people in 85 different countries. I heard that he got interested in computers when he was really young. That's right. He started programming computers when he was 13 years old. Really? Yes. Then he studied computers at Harvard University. He was a Harvard graduate? This shows how important education is to success. Actually, Bill Gates decided to drop out of Harvard. He was an excellent student, but he did not want to graduate. Why not? He had a dream. He dreamed that computers would be in every home and office in the world. I see. He decided to follow his dream. Yes, he made the right decision. Unit 29. Mark Twain Here is a story that Mark Twain, the famous author of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, told one afternoon. Years ago, I was on a train leaving New York. There were too many people, and the sleeper train was full. I asked a young man at the ticket office if I could have a room in the sleeper section of the train. He answered rudely, No. I left feeling quite angry. As I was getting on the train, I saw a man watching me. He watched me for a few minutes. Then he spoke to the conductor in a whisper. Immediately, the conductor came over to me. 
Can I help you? He asked. Do you want a place in the sleeper section? Yes, give me anything. We have two beds and chairs in a private section. The conductor made sure I was comfortable. Then he said, I'm so proud to have you on this train, sir. Oh, who am I? I asked. General McClellan. Unit 30 A Soccer Star Soccer is a very popular team sport worldwide. Many people love to watch it. Hong Myung Bo is a famous soccer player. He started playing soccer in 1990. He played for the Pohang Steelers for six years. Then he played for the Los Angeles Galaxy. He was the first Korean to play for a major league soccer team in the United States. Now, he is a coach for the South Korean soccer team. Hong is famous because he played soccer well. He played in more than 125 international games. He also played in four World Cups. He played in the World Cup in 1990, 1994, 1998, and 2002. Hong won two soccer awards in 2002. His team won the award for the most entertaining team in the World Cup. People thought it was fun to watch Hong's team play soccer. Hong also won the Adidas Bronze Ball Award. This award was for his outstanding performance in the game. Even though Hong did not play in the final game, he played well.